Hi, happy uh, Friday. Uh, it's uh, Friday. So we're gonna start with some stretching, okay? So because it's been a while. Uh, yeah, stretching. But uh, <clears throat> I've been doing this kind of stretching very, for a very long time, so I can handle it, but you better start it slow, okay? Uh, if you're not used to this, all right? Okay. All right. Okay. Ah, I gotta empty my pocket. We're gonna turn the heat up too. Okay, let's do this. Oh, oh, oh. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Oh. Oh. Ah. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Yeah, I just do think about it, I just do it, you know. <laughs> Before I change my mind and not do it. <sighs> <sighs> okay. Let's do some spirit, I guess. Uh, boy. Where's my water? I want my water. All right, let's do some split. <coughs> oh, that's good. Oh. That's good. Oh, ooh. Okay, that's good. Oh, I'll be back. Okay. Ooh. Oh, that's quite some stretch. Ooh. We shall take a break.
boy. Yeah, sorry, that was a long break. Um, good news is, uh, I got my new set of pants, okay? So, that's good. <coughs> yeah, today was another very long day. So, I came home and it was like 8.30. Alright, so... Oh well, it, it happens. Uh, working over time. Oh boy. All right, let's do this, shall we? Because uh, nowadays we in humanology we are having this epiphany. Ep I don't know how to pronounce that. Uh, epiphany. Ep epiphany moment. We are enjoying epiphany moment where, when we feel like the heaven is wide open and, you know, like in Jacob's dream, right? Angels are going up and down between heaven and earth, whatever, right? Well, we're gonna erase all this and then um, restart, okay? Yeah, we are the bestest, bestest, bestestest, be there's best and bestest and bestestest, okay? We are, we humanology, we are cream of, of the crop, whatever. Yeah, we are, we are the best, okay, we are the smartest, so we serve humanity by volunteering our time like this, okay, to share knowledge, to teach and learn. With this nice, nice vodka drinks, okay, um, come on, you gotta give me something, right? I gotta have some fun. Huh? Am I asking too much? Yeah, just let me drink vodka at home like this. That's what I'm asking. Okay, so you don't have to vote for me. You don't have to make me give me the presidency. No, no, no. Just let me drink. Then we are good. We we we'll call that even. Okay, we we'll call it even. We we'll call it even. All right. Ah oh, man, how many times should I repeat myself? Because you probably don't understand my accent. If I'm repeating myself, it's because I doubt, I suspect that you, you'll be understanding what I'm saying. All right, so it's this, okay? Uh, let's say now it's it's better pen, right? Because it's a better brand. It's a, like a dollar more expensive, but better quality. X axis is time, okay? Y axis is money. In your bank account, all right. Let's say uh, you used to make ten thousand dollars per year. Okay, ten thousand dollars per year. All right, you used to make that, but. All the money that you make in your savings account, let's say you have what this unit of thousand, okay. In your savings account, let's say you have or savings checking, whatever, okay. You have five thousand dollars, so you make ten thousand dollars per year, but you also spend ten thousand dollars per year. You don't get to save or you don't get to use your savings. It, you just break even. You use eh, all the money that you make. I mean, you use, yeah, you use all the money that you make. Okay, $10,000 per year come in, $10,000 come out every year. All right, so your savings is not increasing or decreasing. It just stays the same. 
Okay, and then at this point of time, time one, you get promoted. Okay, so it's like honeymoon period. This honeymoon is like newly married, right? It's like post wedding. There is also a period when you are very happy, pre wedding. Pre wedding and post wedding. Probably those are very, very happy time. Okay? So, we gotta go back a little, okay? Yeah, you hear this rumor that you're gonna get promoted, okay? If you're gonna get promoted, probably you, you know, right? You anticipate your promotion if it ever happens, right? Okay? Maybe it's some kind of a <clears throat> higher paying job in your organization, all right? Or maybe it's a new job that you applied and you had interviews, even within organization, you are going getting a higher promotion, higher job. Yeah, you get into you do interviews and reviews and they notify you and but and sooner soon sooner than later, yeah, you get bump in your pay. Two pay grades, one pay grade, whatever. So that's like pre wedding kind of pre honeymoon. Honeymoon is like post-wedding, after the wedding, right? So yeah, this is the moment of promotion, okay? But, before and after, you just feel happy, okay? So, we're gonna approximate this uh, step function with just plain straight line, okay? Now, Let's say Yeah, so you make more money now, okay? Um it, it's this it's just like step function, okay? For a while for a while, well, we can say T T one is actually right here, alright? Because yeah, I mean happiness is a warm gun, and that's it was what Beatles said and sang. Happiness is a warm gun, yes, it is. But uh, we are not dealing with happiness, we are dealing with money here, okay? So, all right, from time T1, you have bump on you, have bump on your pay, so you got promoted, you're making more money, but for a while your savings will increase because you're used to old style of very frugal money pen, penny pinching penny counting penny saving kind of very frugal lifestyle so even though you got just got promoted you don't you live normally as like just like before let's say you used to make ten thousand dollars a year and now you make Twenty thousand dollars a year. Okay, from ten k to two twenty k promotion. Okay, but your lifestyle didn't quite change for a while, at least. So, um, yeah, you know what? Yeah, I got promoted, but you know I'm used to this frugal lifestyle, so I will just save money. So yeah, you continue to spend, but you spend at the same level as if you are still making $10,000 a year, okay? So, you get to save. And then you hit this point where we call it T2, okay? If, and you, you know what? Maybe I can live a little because life is short, right? So why don't I eat more expensive food, go to a bed, you know, more fancy or restaurant and, you know, maybe move out to a bigger, nicer apartment, bigger house, newer car, whatever, okay? So, you hit this point again where you're 
making twenty thousand dollars a year, but you're spending all that twenty thousand dollars a year. Okay, you're not saving anything. You're using every single penny that you earn. So that's why your saving account. Let's say you, your savings account uh, increased to ten thousand dollars. Okay, because you saved for quite a while, but since then you're spending it all. So uh, life. Kind of become dull okay you're using you're you're spending all the money that you make so you don't get to save okay okay you see what i'm saying yeah so yeah go up and up and up and up and that's normal it's not bad okay you you will also want to do better you know our lifestyle yeah improves but this is this brief time of change or just before and just after the change of this promotional event that's the only time you are happy the rest of time is very boring and unhappy actually okay you remember Carl Cobain Jim Morrison or Elvis Presley, Marilyn Monroe, Michael Jackson, they were on top of the world, but they were not happy. That's why they died young. What did they do? Yeah, drug abuse. Many of them, okay? Or like, uh, what, James Dean, yeah, what did he do? Yeah, some stupid car racing, some very risky, high-risk behavior, whatever, right? And, um... Because their life is up there, but they are not happy because there's no change in their life. They got enough money. Like what? Is it Howard Hughes or something? The billionaire? Um, you know, later on he became some kind of hermit and he locked himself up in this penthouse and he had these long fingernails, whatever. What, was it Howard Hughes? Uh, I want to get his name right. I'm talking about that aviator, inventor, you know, he built airplanes and whatnot. Uh, I think he was Howard Hughes, I'm not sure. He is Howard Hughes, I think. Uh, tycoon, yeah, Howard Hughes. Mm. He's a very cool guy, okay, so Also very handsome man too Yeah, just just look at his picture Yeah, good looking guy, very smart, very sharp But yeah, all these people, they reach the top, right? Then life flatlines, okay So that's the, this pain of boredom Yeah, Kurt Cobain, Jim Morrison um, Marilyn Monroe, Michael Jackson, uh, Elvis Presley, James Dean, all these people, yeah, very talented people who died very young out of drug addiction or some suicide even and all, all that stuff, okay? So, yeah, I mean, they are up there. But, happiness, my friend, happiness is, uh, we said it's, uh, it's a d squared dollar over d, d t squared, okay, it's the second derivative of revenue, all right, uh, here um, is this savings account. Okay, so, but uh, D dollar DT, that's your salary. How much, that's your hourly wage rate. How much money per time are you making? This equation here, this is where um, there is, um, you don't care about the expenditure. You just count the money that comes in, okay? The speed, 
speed of earning earning speed all right that's uh so speed okay earning speed let's say salary your salary is a d dollar dt right the salary okay now happiness is acceleration okay it's a second derivative of the money coming in why because that's what promotion is increase in salary increase in speed okay so that's what happiness is it's a change it's not just change it's a, a double derivative of the change okay so Mary Monroe Elvis Presley yeah I mean they are making a lot of money right but it's not like accelerating it's yeah, they make what? $1 million, $100 million per year, whatever, right? But it still stays the same. I mean, even though, even if they are making more money, so what? At that point, making more money doesn't make any difference. It's, yeah, they got all the cars they want. How many cars are you going to have? I mean, our stomach can only eat what three times a day if no matter how much money you are making Marilyn Monroe Elvis Presley still will have will eat three times a day not more right and so yeah life is boring there's no change okay because they're very uneducated people like Kurt Cobain Jim Morrison Elvis Presley Marilyn Monroe yeah they're talented musically but they don't know science they don't know music I, I mean they know music but they they don't know science mathematics foreign language so they don't have any background on those things that's why elementary education is so important okay because no matter how rich you get yeah you can still go up metaphysically not in terms of money but in terms of furthering ed your education you have a brand new hobby of studying mathematics or you can go back to school whatever okay but those such door is not open to Marilyn Monroe Elvis Presley Michael Jackson they don't have that door open to them it's to them it's a closed door it's a wall it's a wall this is huge uh, threshold of resistance blocking this channel of education okay and now that they are so bored they want to die because it's just too painful boredom I know how painful boredom is because I live by myself I, I struggle with it all the time okay <laughs> oh boy We'll be back, all right? We're going to take a break and we'll be back. It's getting way too hot now. Oh, boy. Oh, it's getting, it's really getting hot. I'll have one more cushion because it's still too hard.
Okay. That was very nice and short break. <clears throat> so yeah, no changes like flat lining. Um, I mean, it, for a while it's okay. It gives you a stability break. Time to relax, right? So it's all good, okay? But if it lasts too long, then life becomes very boring. It's time for a change, okay? So, uh, and that's one of my uh, political idea. Uh, I, I, well, I say presidential platform, but I don't have to be the president, okay? Maybe one of you, or some of you, maybe all of you become president one day of your own country. If you live in America, yeah, they're in America, okay? Yeah, the idea is that, uh, yeah, universal bar, bar exam system, okay? So just like bar exam, I mean, even bar, bar exam, to be a lawyer, yeah, you have to go to school, law school. But uh, the universal bar exam concept is go one step further, okay? Uh, you don't have to go to any school whatsoever. Okay, you can just study, take this exam, and you are licensed. All right, for every single sub school subject there is. Okay, so the people can still work full time and study, and change their career path. Okay, so. Okay, because t t nowadays knowledge is free, education is free. It's for el all the conceivable knowledge is in the onla online, in the web, for free, for everybody. You gotta take advantage of that, okay? It would be foolish not to take advantage of this era of shared knowledge, free knowledge out there. <laughs> you better take advantage. We better take advantage of that, otherwise we are going down, okay? We should take advantage of every single vantage point that we can. That's the only way we can survive. Otherwise, we cannot survive as a society. All right. We have to do the very best, very best. That's the only way that we can save ourselves. It's like we are kind of having this race with the devil. Okay, devil is chasing us, right? To devour us, to degenerate our society. Sugar fetishism, tattoo piercism, gayism. Many people got devoured by those devil dogs. Okay, but we are we are one of few survivors. Okay, we are we survive all those evil realities, and that's why we are here. All right, and um, so we humanologists are kind of like moral elites. Okay, um, I mean, you may have some tattoos, piercings, get rid of it, okay, or don't get any more, then you're fine. Everybody's invited here, everybody, okay. They just need to stop doing wrong things, all right. Okay, now let's be more mathematically rigorous here, okay. Um, we're kind of glossing over... Uh, we need to start labeling things, giving it names, okay? Come up with some brand new, I mean, good alphabetical co notation convention and... Um, Oh boy. No, let's just erase everything, okay? Um You have expenditure and you have income, right? So income Money coming in, okay, that's income, right? Money going out, that's expenditure, okay? Um, 
every day or every hour you make money okay and yeah you get paid what once a month twice a month but that's just for convenience sake all right you are making money every hour every minute every second when you are at your desk okay <laughs> okay and also you're spending money every single second as well i mean, for the sake of convenience we pay the bills once a month phone bill but every time you use the f your phone cell phone yeah there's money going out conceptually okay so uh let's say given this period of time one day one second whatever okay you have um money coming in right so that's something positive and money going out there's something negative right yeah Okay. Well, we can see it this way, all right? So, let's say you have savings account. We call it S. Okay, so this is your bank account. You're saving or oh, checking. This is checking account, okay? Checking, saving, we just call it saving to simplify, all right? Now, delta S is equal to S plus I minus E, all right? So that's. No, 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 no. S. 2 uh, s time 2 is equal to s saving time 1 and all right so Delta T is this, okay? You have T1, T2, like today, tomorrow, okay? And the subtraction of these two is the delta T, which is a, uh, T2 minus T1, okay? So, your savings account, the money tomorrow is equal to uh, savings account money, yes, today, okay? Let's say this today, okay? Today. This is tomorrow. So, today, I had, what? Let's say $10 in my bank account. Okay? And between today and tomorrow, I earned some money. So, the index will be delta T. Hard to see, right? Index of this income should be delta T. It's between today and tomorrow. It's a index like this is I T2 minus T1. And this T2 minus T1 is the index subscript of this income variable. I know it's, it's kind of comp a little bit complicated but we are trying to be mathematically rigorous all right because we know mathematics okay many economists they kind of lack about mathematics because they don't know too much about mathematics okay but what we do 
all right so and not only that we are mathematicians too so we can come up with brand new mathematics even I and mean, who did the subtraction in the index level subscript level i've never seen it <laughs> i don't know how has anybody ever used delta t as a subscript as an index over a variable i've never seen one okay so it's this okay today and tomorrow today's saving plus the money coming in between today and tomorrow that's uh i of delta t i delta t okay minus expenditure delta t okay now it makes sense right and it's fun yeah it's mathematical rigor but i i like it it's kind of cool now let's pass this guy over okay so now you have s st2 minus st1 what is it I mean, you, you, we can call it just delta, delta, delta s from between what is delta between uh, t two and t one, okay. Delta, what delta? Yeah, it's a change in saving, but of what? Yeah, two between two times, two times. Between to, uh, today and tomorrow, tomorrow minus today. Okay. But uh, here you have I income between uh, what tomorrow and today, right? But there is no subtraction. This is not like this is equal to i t two minus i t one. No, no, it's not like that. Why? Because so this index subtraction is not distributive. Okay, because this is what is this? This is a actually sigma. Man, we are doing a lot. I told you the gate of heaven is wide open now. We are having this period of it, a lot of in, good inspiration okay because probably because uh we it's like springtime you know during the winter we did all the mathematics right very dry subject we are in the desert land like moses and his people walking in the desert and now we kind of came to this land of promise Kena, Kena. i don't even know how to pronounce it in english but canaan well, K9 <laughs> Yeah, it's a land of promise pr the land of milk and honey. That's where we are now, but it, it's always uh, circular Cyclic, okay after a while we'll run out of inspiration and we'll s s need to go back to mathematics and physics and do some dry and boring desert land kind of desert landscape wandering and then yeah the gate of the heaven will open again it will be like springtime then winter time then springtime yeah N night and day night and day okay so but we are now having springtime okay so all right Whew. so okay what is i i'm so ghetto so ghetto T2 minus T1, what is that? This is uh, equal to sigma time is equal to T1 to T2 I T.
Okay? So yeah, T1, what? Today, T2, tomorrow. How many hours are there? 24 hours. How many minutes, seconds? Well, blah, 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 right? Let's just do it by hours. So yeah, it will be like T is equal to what hour to what hour. So it will be 24 of them, okay? So I1 plus I2 plus blah, blah, plus I24, okay? Of that date, all right? And then um, we just add them up. There's no subtraction involved, okay? I, this T2 minus T1, it just specifies the interval, the period, the time gap. That's all it is, okay? Expenditure, same way, okay? But here, uh, there is actual subtraction, okay? This is a delta S, the change in your savings account. Again, we just equalize savings and checking account, okay? You have just one account, one bank account, and we call it savings account. You know, whenever you use your what credit card, debit card, it, money only comes in and out of this savings account. When you get electronic check, you deposit some money, it's, you have only one account, okay? Because we, we have to simplify things. Right? Savings, checkings is unnecessary details for our purpose. We are trying to model uh, this economic fa phenomenon. Uh, the speed of earning, acceleration of earning, okay? Uh, yeah, we are back in economics, okay? And we are also in humanology too, because we are talking about happiness, okay? We are doing some differential equation too, right? Kind of, kind of, okay? All right. Okay. Yeah, you know, this uh, extended or generalized tensor notation, we rotate things around, okay? So this is same as delta uh, I would rather say T1, T2, okay? Delta T2 from T1 to T2. Or not. Uh, well, actually, delta T2 minus T1 ordering, I think that makes more sense because here now we are doing the sigma summation. We are doing subtraction. So, yeah. Delta T T two T one, just like an integral, you know, notation. Your bar, or x is equal to a, x is equal to b, is a top minus bottom, right? So, T two minus T one here vertically. Yeah, T two minus T one. Okay, so delta s. This is brand new notation. Okay, delta. I've never seen people indexing giving subscript or superscript to delta. Well, we, we, are, we are breaking a lot of new grounds here. We are inventive, so, okay? Yeah. We are building the ground, we are uh, just, uh, constructing we are doing the foundational work now Fo we are doing the foundation foundational groundwork we are building a house okay well, right now we are on the ground level we are evening the ground and put some nice and st steady this rock okay so that 
our house is built on a rock, just like Jesus said. Okay, so. Okay, let's take a break, okay? I mean, it's Friday, okay? I came home from work, it's like 8.30, okay? So, that's why I'm taking a lot of frequent breaks, okay? So. Yeah, we'll get back to this, okay? All right, take a break. Okay, we are back and I'm gonna turn on the heater. Ah. I don't feel like putting on that coat though because temper is just fine. Okay. I guess it's time to erase. Well, let's take a picture because it kind of looks pretty. 
depending on the point of view, but uh, I like the way where this is going. Okay. Whew. I was like leaning on the against the wall, make it the to make the right distance between my camera and the board and quite a workout dude. W workout, quite a workout. Alright, now we need to start defining the speed, alright? speed of saving okay so money like matter right in uh, in physics you have energy energy mass right energy mass they're kind of equivalent you know e is, e is equal to mc squared like Einstein's famous equation okay so energy mass and you have uh, what space time also what Einstein um, yeah he, he made good points in physics okay space time okay they're kind of the same thing energy matter energy mass it's kind of same thing right so you, we have two different things right it's kind of like, yeah kind of look like the idealism already because there are four components whatever okay yeah they're kind of equivalent to each other okay so but here upstairs downstairs um they are not the same okay so energy mass is like one thing right and space time is one thing and this energy mass and space time these two things number one number two they are very different all right space time is like empty empty space energy mass is the content space time is more like a cup energy mass is more like content like water vodka juice milk whatever okay space time is more like this uh container okay this holder empty holder it's like word vocabulary language energy mass is more like this content concepts you have this word a p p l e apple okay but it's just some random arrangement of alphabetical characters a p p l e five characters alphabetic characters in english language it's just empty cup all right but the concept of this fruit that's kind of red and kind of what spherical and sweet tart it has this peel this uh what this cut off branch and there are some seeds in there and this pulp and this sugar texture that's a concept of an apple okay so language the word noun vocabulary it contains that concept of apple all right yeah i told you yeah we are being inspired this is time like springtime for hitler <laughs> spring <laughs> oh. just kidding it's springtime for humanology all right we have it's time of inspiration all right it probably won't last that long maybe a couple of days but yeah while it lasts let's enjoy while the music lasts let's dance let's dance while music lasts okay so yeah let's dance by the way I remember this fantastic scene uh, in uh, married with children this what L Bundy he was, he's a former football player and there's another guy and they're about to fight and El Bondi says 
Let's dance. So he said something like that. Right. Oh, did he say let's rock? I don't know. Ah, I love that show. Married with children. Ah, he said let's rock. Let's rock. Let's go out and fight. Something like that. <laughs> Anyways. So money, money, dollars, pennies, pounds, whatever currency you are using, okay? Um, Japanese yen, Korean won, Chinese yuan, I don't know, I'm not sure. Yeah, British pound and or sterling, I don't know, I, I don't know the currency, okay? Uh, what, German mark and French, what do they use? I don't know, but in Britain they have shilling, there's pence, like, I love this group, it's, I think it's an American band, six pence, non the richer, but that expression, I'm not sure what it means, but I think it came from Britain, pence, is, isn't it like penny in Britain, I don't know, uh, but six pence, non the richer is fantastic, I think they are American band, okay. Probably they are, and uh, I think they, from what I remember, they, from what I read, they started as a gospel group, like Christian gospel group, and then they secularized, they became a secular band, and I'm glad they did, okay, because Christian gospels, they're fantastic nowadays, they're getting better, really, they're learning, yeah, there's some this lesbianish dikey all the satanic female vocalists in gospel group gospel community my goodness what are they thinking they sing like lady gaga was katie Perry. perry this lesbian voice this ugly this satanic devilish ugly ugly lesbian style voice oh my goodness they do that in some christian band in gospel community and I oh my goodness it's just horrible women should sing like a woman okay women should sing like women men men can sing like a girl that's I think that's fine like falsido voice that's cool but women they should never sing like a dude okay that's ugly all right anyways Well, I take that back. There's this. Give me one reason to stay here, then I will turn around. Yeah, that girl is lesbian, okay? He's African American. Was well, Stacy or something? I don't know. I don't remember her name, but I like that song, okay? Give me one reason to stay here. Yeah, her singing style isn't that feminine. It's more like ma masculine, perhaps even lesbianish or dykey. But I like her song, okay, that one song she sang. Give me a reason to stay here, then I turn right back around. It's a fantastic song and fantastic style. I mean, not every woman is very feminine, but that doesn't mean they have to become lesbians, okay? Uh, but at the same time, if you are not very feminine, probably guys will not be attracted to you. We guys, we like feminine type of women, okay? And uh, so, yeah, th that lady, maybe she was lonely because no guys ask her, ask her out because she's not feminine. So yeah, I understand, okay, so she's lonely, so she wouldn't want somebody, so she become lesbian. I understand that, I do, but still it's wrong. You, you should not, you should not be a lesbian, because that's gonna destroy you, okay? It's bad for you, okay? Gay, lesbian, whatever, LGBT, that's 
devil. Okay, it's a kind of devil. So, so uh, if you are in that community, I ask you to get out of there because I don't want you to destroy yourself. Okay, so we'll talk about that later because it's kind of related to what we do here, what we are discussing now happiness. Okay, this uh, cut in cartesian expressed in cartesian represented in cartesian coordinate we get to it okay uh, human knowledge called application but now we are doing mathematics physics and economics more like physical science okay human knowledge is metaphysical okay so we'll do metaphysics later all right so okay back to this money is more like energy matter right it's, it has this power this capacity to purchase things get things done money okay and um now we are uh, ca trying to calculate the speed of earning or speed of expenditure because we're going to divide by time okay uh so uh earning okay Yeah, I, it's something new to me, so... Uh, okay, so... I'm learning and teaching at the same time, okay, so... Uh. Yeah, we got it. Okay, so. Uh, can you raise this, guys? So, this savings, okay, amount in your savings account, okay? The speed of your saving, all right? Do you get to save one dollar per day or is your savings account actually going down one dollar per day? So that's savings speed, the speed of saving, all right, is equal to I indexed by subscript delta T over delta T minus E delta T the expenditure during the, this delta t, okay, delta t, okay, and this is a, so this is a, this is a velocity, the speed, but we just use velocity because if you're saving, we already used s, so s of s, no, velocity, we just call it velocity, okay, because, uh, yeah, Scalar is a one-dimensional vector, okay? Plus, minus is a one-dimensional vector. So, 
it's not too wrong to call it velocity, okay? So velocity of saving is equal to velocity of income minus velocity of expenditure, okay? I'll let you think, I'll let you uh, let this sink in, okay? Maybe it takes a while, all right? So let it sink in, think about it, all right? Because uh, we're gonna take a break, okay? All right. All right. All right, we're back. Uh, yeah, I take very frequent breaks today, but each break is very short. So there's some balancing act there. You know. All right, so we have that, okay. Yeah, so that's that, okay. Let's take a picture, all right? It's kind of pretty. Okay, take a picture. Did I ever tell did I ever tell you that I take bathroom selfie every day? I do. <laughs> now I'm taking this whiteboard picture every day. So yeah, Springtime for Hitler is a famous kind of Broadway style musical movie. Um, maybe there was Broadway musical too, but uh, it's a movie back in like 1950s, okay, uh, or 40s. Um, yeah, Springtime for Hitler. It's actually, it was a Broadway production or Hollywood movie, whatever, okay. Never seen it. Right, but I heard about it, read about it. I just saw the post pastor, okay, springtime for Hitler, right? So. Anyway.
Okay. Kind of hype up until that. It's too hot. I got a ton of one of the heaters, okay? Oh, it's getting too hot. Oh, boy. Okay. So. We're gonna erase everything except this bottom guy, all right? So it's this, all right? Uh, the diagram we drew before, all right? Um, I'm gonna use black because uh, it's kind of far away and you need to see this very clearly, okay? We have this x, y coordinate, right? And x axis is time. And there was like this. Yeah, you're not saving anything, right? So maybe velocity of saving is zero. So maybe it is, it is a VT graph in like in physics. You have ST graph and VT graph and AT graph. You just integrate, integrate, or uh, differentiate, differentiate, okay? S, just, you know, distance, all right? Space, V, velocity. A acceleration. You have ST graph, VT graph, and A AT graph. Okay, it's uh, elementary physics, mechanics, classical mechanics, Newtonian mechanics, Newtonian mechanics. Okay, classical mechanics. All right. If you have never learned it, like look it up. Okay, because there's something I learned in. Uh, Korean middle school, all right, back in the days, way back. How many years ago? Almost 30 years ago, okay, 25 years ago, whatever. All right, so. <clears throat> no, no, no. I don't think it's VT graph. Probably it's ST graph. Uh, uh, yeah, again, it's something new to me too. All right, so I may have to like, I may make mistakes, backtrack, correct, all right? Yes, okay, okay. By the way, VI, the speed of income, is your salary, all right? <laughs> speed of income is your salary, okay? And, um, yeah, we have to sort this out. Think this through. Think this through. It's like triple rhyming right there, like head rhyming. At the beginning of the word, there's head rhyming and tail ry rhyming, rhyme, rhyming, head rhyming and tail rhyming. Okay, head rhyming is think this through. Th is start with th. All this triple rhyming, right? Tail rhyming is like master. 
vibrator. Like it ends with R. Master vibrator, right? It ends with R. It's double rhyming, okay? So, whatever. Whatever that, whatever that means. That kind of sounds like masturbation to me. Whatever. Master vibration, master's vibration, whatever. Okay. Sounds like mas masturbation. It's a joke, alright? PG searching, alright? So, whatever. Now, <laughs> masturbation is what master's vibration. <sighs> there once was a master, a king, King Solomon, and he was like vibrating because he was masturbating while when he was writing this uh, Solomon's Song of Songs. Songs. This is very para master masturbator. I mean, not para masturbatory, but masturbatory, period. Solomon songs, okay, in the Old Testament, all right? Whatever. Okay, now, let's think this through. Um, so, here, S is not zero. You have some $5,000. Okay. Saving. In terms of money, in terms of one thousand, okay. Save your savings. Okay. I don't know where this symbol comes comes from. This dollar symbol. Why is it S? Perhaps it's from sterling. You know, like silver, sterling, British old currency unit. Probably that's where this S came from. Or maybe it came from Satan. Or Satan stalling sex. Maybe that's what 666 is. Money, sex, whatever. I don't know, whatever. Again, it's a joke. <laughs> okay. We humanologists, we are not all against money. We are not against rich people. We are not, okay? We see that as diversity, money, because money does not bring you happiness. It doesn't. All right. And look at Kurt Cobain, Marilyn Monroe, Elvis Presley. They all had money, power, and fame, but they all committed suicide. Okay. By using all these prescription drugs. They are not illegal drugs. No, they went to their psychiatrists, their doctors. Hey, give me Michael Jackson, right? It's all legal not illegal drugs but legal drugs opioids yeah prescription drugs prescribed by their doctors okay so their doctors are like kind of like prostitutes whores sluts okay immoral doctors yeah just to make money yeah they give them sell these doctors it's legal it's not illegal drugs but it's legalized drugs Prescription drugs, painkiller drugs, legalized opium. Okay, that's what psychiatrists prescribe to Michael Jackson, Marilyn Monroe, Elvis Presley, whatnot, right? Yeah, that's what killed them, okay? I don't know how Elvis Presley died, okay? Is he still alive? Whatever, I don't know, okay? Anyways, so, uh, so yeah, this dollar level is not zero, but what is zero then? Yeah, it's a VS, that's what's zero. Because the slope of this line is zero, so, okay, VS, so you're happy during this time and unhappy during this time, okay? So, approximately, it's not final. Our it's not final equation. Happiness is equal to um, V S. Okay. 
which is uh, D, DSDT. Savings, stallings, dollar, sure, whatever, okay? And that's our first attempt and but nah that's uh, because we thought um what is what first hypo actually second hypothesis first hypothesis was uh happiness equal to uh d the second derivative of dollar is like promotion. If you are making what ten thousand dollars per year, year after year after year, it's just stay the same, same salary level. You're not gonna be happy, but you you are happy during the time of promotion. Okay, like just before and just after, right? The time then when you actually save money. Okay, so. You got promoted from ten thousand dollars a year to twenty thousand dollars a year. Oh yeah, you are happy during that time because you get to save money, something, some good change, positive change, something that you wanted for so long. Okay, and then you start spending more, and it kind of flattens out again. Yeah, you are making more money, twenty thousand dollars a year. Before you are only making ten thousand dollars a year. Now you are make, making twenty thousand dollars a year. But yeah, in the beginning of this promotion, yeah, you live the same old frugal economic lifestyle, saving penny, penny as a penny pincher, penny saver. Okay, go, going to like what nickel and dime store. Okay, that's what used what it used to be called. Nowadays, it's like what dollar tree, dollar stores, right? But back in the days, yeah. You, so dollar store is not something new. It's back in the days they used to call it nickel and dime store. And how do I know? I read the biography of Sam Walton because that's how it started. Sam Walton, Walmart guy. He started his business as a with a nickel and dime store, like today's dollar store. Okay, that's how he started his business. Okay, I think it was in Arkansas. Arkansas. Why do they call it Arkansas instead of Arkansas? Why? Why do, should that final S be silent? Did they? what try to look like sound like french <laughs> making the final vowel i mean final consonant silent i don't know no idea okay so uh this was our first hypothesis second hypothesis and of course we have this expenditure term so we need some reconciliation we need to reconcile okay um because um intuitively this will make sense okay yeah yeah when you are making what well, ten thousand dollars for a couple of years no you're not happy but when ten thousand dollars per year increases to twenty thousand dollars per year yeah, it's promotion and you're happy. But after a while, yeah, things get old. I get used to it. Like it's a habituation, right? Yeah, it's Pavlov. Uh, he's not a psychologist. I don't want to characterize him as a psychologist. I would rather characterize him as a physiologist or zoologist. Yeah, Pavlov, this experiment. Connected the stomach of a dog ring the bell and feed the dog is a habituation kind of experiment pavlov is a soviet former soviet now russian okay scientist pavlov's experiment pavlov something like that okay how do i spell this in russian 
Ooh, that will be a challenge. Okay, P is like pi, right? Cyrillic alphabet is very much Greek alphabet because like in Russia, they have this Greek Orthodox. Okay, so somehow there's this deep connection between Greece and Russia. I mean, Soviet Union, whatever. So pa, how do you write a? I think it's just a pa. V v v v. Um. I think this uh this is a v. Okay. Eh, I don't know. I don't remember. My Russian socks. Okay, by the way, Pavlov. What is L? How do you write L? Oh boy. Is it like this? <laughs> I don't. I don't remember. Okay, Pavlov. Maybe this is F. Okay. How do you write F in? Yeah, maybe phi. Ah, you know what? I'm gonna look it up. Pavlov, okay? Because I want to spell his name right in Cyrillic Russian alphabet. Okay. Let's go to Wikipedia about Pavlov. Because I want to spell his name right. Ivan Pavlov. Okay. Okay, I, I got almost right. Okay, so this is not it. Okay, so it's like this. Pa. Pa. V. Yeah, I got it backward. Okay, it's like this. That's Russian L. Pavlov. Okay. There you have it. Okay? Yeah, in Russian Cyrillic alphabet is very beautiful. It's something very special. You have this. I think it was one in one one of the uh Rush Hours with Jackie Chan and uh not Tucker Carson but Chris Tucker. <laughs> Jackie Chan and Chris Tucker, okay. Yeah, I think it was Russia or Syria or something. Yeah, Jackie Chan was trying to, he went to Russia and tried to read this Russian Cyrillic alphabet. It's like left hand, right K, which is like, I think it's like Russian equivalent of Z. Okay, Z. Yeah. This, okay. I think it's like left and right K, okay. And actually, in Chinese, this means water, okay? Uh, and you have that, yeah, so all this funky Cyrillic alphabets, it's very beautiful. Something really cool, okay? And then what you have, what? Uh... Yeah, so yeah, this is L, okay? Russian L, and then you have... Uh... You have something like this, like it's just left, left, it's like left, right, kind of swapped. It looks like N, but it's like swapped. And this is actually E, it's a vowel, E, okay. And, um, yeah, Greek alphabet is beautiful and Cyrillic alphabet it's very beautiful too okay so i know very little about russia okay because i i try to learn it right now i'm learning uh portuguese brazilian portuguese okay but my next language that i would like to learn it would be russian okay so okay we'll take a break Yeah, we try to reconcile this, all right? Um, that'll be our next stop 
in this humanology zone, okay? Our next stop will be that, okay?
Okay, uh, let me fully spell out this scientist, Soviet Union scientist Ivan Pavlov. Okay, so Pavlov, okay, Pavlov. His first name is uh, Ivan. And now I know how to write that. E. Oh, it's red. Red and black. That's not a good combination because like blood and gore, you know, <laughs> hellish fire. So red and black, that's not a good combination. It's like, typically it's a color combination of Satan, hell, blood and gore. So we don't want that. So, Ivan Pavlov, okay, so Ivan, E, Va, An. It looks like H, right? But it's actually N in Cyrillic alphabet, okay? Ivan Pavlov. Okay, so. Yeah, he's a physiologist. Yeah, well, they call it conditioning. I don't like the term. Conditioning. No, yeah, habituation. We, we get used to things. So we don't get excited very much. It's that uh, same concept of by Alfred Marshall, economist. Yeah, the diminishing marginal utility. Law of diminishing marginal utility. And Pavlov's uh, habituation concept. You get used to it. Yeah, it gets boring, okay? So it's no longer exciting, okay? so. That's kind of what we are dealing with here, all right? Yeah, you get used to things and things are not exciting anymore, so you are not no longer happy, all right? Uh, yeah, we'll bridge this gap later, okay? But uh, before, let's get back to that perhaps tomorrow, all right? Is happiness first der derivative or second derivative of money or copium? Money, that's just one instance of copium, okay? So, yeah, uh, happiness is a first derivative or second derivative of copium, okay? So, we need to reconcile that, all right? So, uh, but for now, uh, let's talk about something else, but still related, all right? Ah oh, man, I gotta turn back on that hero or we'll put on my jacket. I just put on my jacket, okay? And also turn on the hero. Getting cold. So, uh, so, do you, do you like this color combination? It's like gray, <laughs> some green and purple, like what well, green and purple like a Joker, and it's kind of dark blue raincoat. And my pants is kind of like light gray because I want to make some contrast. Okay? Yeah, this dark and bright color. It's like sunshine, you know. Ooh, sunshine. <laughs> contrast between dark and light. Okay? Because, uh, when I was in Co Korea, middle school, high school, in elementary school, I was not good at fine art, but uh, I learned some fine arts uh, through some uh, what's called Hagwon. Okay, so this Hakyo is like public school. Hagwon is like group tutoring. Okay, private school kind of. Okay, so 
smaller class size. Okay, so I learned some fine arts through uh, this hard one. It's like a group, smaller size tutoring. Okay, so it's like private school kind of after school school. Okay, so yeah, I learned that, and so in elementary school I was not good at fine art, but when I was sixth grade. Fifth grade, yeah, I went to my parents sent me to this uh, after school school, like group tutoring. Okay, it's kind of like private school, after school school. Okay, and I learned very good fine arts. Okay, so in the middle school, high school, I excelled in fine arts like painting, drawing with pencil, painting with oil painting. I was not very good at watercolor, but I was very good at uh, this. It's not oil painting, but it's kind. Of, it's a uh, acrylic. It's a like plastic based, but it looked just like oil painting. Okay, but it's more convenient because you can use water. It is uh, acrylic painting. Okay, I was very good at that, and also just printing. I was very good at fine art. Okay, in middle school and uh, high school, in elementary school, I was not good at it. Okay. But my parents, they spent more money to send me to this uh, t group tutoring and uh, yeah, I got better, okay? Yeah. <sighs> so I know things are, things are too about colors, fine art, style, okay? Because I studied that, all right? So. Uh, So, Salvador Dali, you know, was surrealist, right? Yeah. I also read many art history books, okay? So, Salvador Dali, so he was Spanish uh, surrealist, surrealism. Yeah, it's about fantasy, okay? And in psychology, oh, they say, I learned from X-File episode. Oh, there's this mental disease called fantasy prone personality they tend to imagine things that's mental disease because you're abnormal you're not like 99 percent of people you cannot be creative that's what psychology says you cannot be different because if you are different you are abnormal to be like others like a machine that's psychology right Psychology it limits you, okay? Because if you are out there, out on a limb, trying something new, psychology says you are crazy. Cuckoo. You're insane. You have some mental disease. Fantasy prone personality, okay? So psychology is very satanic and devilish because it blocks human evolution. Wants this status quo by demanding everybody to be equal. It's like communism. Psychology, psychology, communism is all satanic. It's all about status quo. You cannot be different. Just be like everyone else. Obey. Because if you are different, you are abnormal. You are sociopath, psychopath, mental disease, mental case. You are ment You have some mental disease. Delusion of grandeur, okay? So, yeah, ambition in, in the eyes of psychologism is equal to delusion of grandeur. That's psychology, okay? Psychology hinders, blocks, hampers human evolution, human progress, human advancement. Because all psychology is about is normality, normalcy. It's about mainstream. Okay, psychology has no backbone because it does not have any good foundation. Okay, it go, go with whatever is the majority. Like being gay is, well, transgender, it used to be what, 
gender identity disorder back in the days. But they so conveniently turned around 90, 180 degrees, like about face in military term. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Gay marriage become mainstream. So, okay, we're going to just strike out this definition. Yeah, gay is no longer a disease. Transgender, bisexual, yeah, it's no longer gender identity disorder. It's perfectly normal. Why? Because it's mainstream, majoritarian view, popular view. So that's sort of psychology. It, it's not a science. It's not religion. It's bullshit. It's garbage. Psychology is garbage. Psychiatry, psychology, psychologism is satanic, destructive. It's, it cannot help you. It will destroy you. Okay? I mean, all this Western medicine, all this advancement in Western medicine, in surgery, pharmacology, all these drugs. I mean, are Westerners healthier now? No, they are unhealthier now than compared to 100 years ago. Why? Because Western medicine, they're not good leaders. Doctors, they are not leaders. They are nerds, geeks. Okay? They don't have leadership skill. They, so they cannot lead you toward the right direction. I can. We can. We are humanologists. Okay? No sugar, no fat. I, I, yeah, you will offend people who eat sugar and fat, right? No pain, no gain, okay? Yeah, I will have to offend you, hurt your feelings to make you a better person. There's no other way, okay? To make you a better person, I have to hurt your feelings. There is no other way. No pain, no gain, okay? There's no shortcut. There's no cutting the corners. I have to offend your feelings because you are doing something wrong, like eating all the sugar and fat, Tattoos, piercings, LGBT, ultra interracialism, your ethnic man going after white girls, uh, young, beautiful white girls, okay? It's wrong. Alright? Yeah, it will hurt your feelings, I know. But there's no other way. Do you want to be a better person? Well, there's a price. Your hurt feelings is the. Is the unavoidable cost price for you to be a better person okay there's no other way all right so. we as humanologists know this so you are psychiatrists psychologists yeah just be a humanologist okay you're all welcome here anybody is welcome here okay because i want you to learn from us okay humanology Yeah, learn, repent, okay, be a better person, blah, 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 okay. All right. So, okay. A typical person is like this. A typical person is like this, okay? Yeah, you have a single life, oh, boring. Then you get married, okay? Oh, yeah, married, get boring. Then you get a child. And yeah, your child, yeah, it's okay, but... You get boring, okay? Your child go out and graduate and move out of your house and get married, yeah, blah, blah, blah. And then you have a grandchild. Oh, yeah, happy, 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 brand new grandchild, okay? Then you get used to it and then you die, okay? So that's the typical three stage of happiness in human life. Marriage your child and your grandchild that's it after that you die okay so yeah that's three happiness of typical human being okay 
you get married oh yeah oh yeah yeah you're young she's young and you have sex oh yeah marry marital domestic bliss just what unlimited supply of sex oh yeah you're happy you're young your wife is young yeah you have sex you kiss sex caress you always together you go out on a date you watch a movie together you snuggle whatever right yeah this newly married newlyweds will go to honeymoon and you know they have sex whatever right yeah great marriage right but after a while yeah it, it gets old same old same old okay you get fed up tired get used to it right accustomed to it get jaded so yeah it kind of flats out then you have child beautiful baby right oh i'm happy so happiness is always in this change okay you used to be single but you got married yeah so you're very happy before marriage when you are dating after marriage you are newlyweds honeymoon yeah so before and after marriage yeah before marriage you are dating after marriage you are newlyweds yeah you're happy yeah sex whatever dating snuggling spending time together okay but after a while it get kind of gets flattened it kind of get even flat plato okay and then you have a child oh you're so happy it's a brand new change right okay your child grow up you know become a teenager and make all these troubles and whatnot and he go off to, off to college he get a job and your child you get married yeah whatever right? it's kind of okay it's boring boring you get used to it accustomed to it. having a child okay so life flattens again and then you have a grandchild your child got married and have grandchild so you babysit your this your this beautiful young baby newborn baby grand your grandson granddaughter oh, you're happy okay and after that uh yeah you get used to it and then you die okay so that's human life all right three happiness three happinesses in human life any objections comments answers questions whatever We're gonna take a break, all right? So. <sighs> okay? Yeah, let's take a break.
So we'll talk about something else that's kind of related this to this happiness coordinate, Cartesian coordinate system of happiness. We are modeling happiness in terms of this uh, analytic uh, algebra, analytic ge geometry, you know. Yeah, this calculus, okay. You know, two-dimensional Cartesian coordinate, time and space, okay? Okay. It's like this, all right? So we are, right now, today is what? April something in 2019, right? That's today. It's Friday night, okay? So um, some April months, uh, in 2019 we are living in I'm living in America United States okay so Alaska all right we are living in the age of moral reversal okay so uh, what do I mean by that moral reversal what is good is bad I and mean, what's good is bad and what's bad is good like tattoos piercings is ugly fucking thing right and people nowadays in america okay they are possessed by the devil satan it's opposite it's like minus one times like times minus one it flips so what's bad is good Bad is good, good is bad, okay? That's moral reversal, this age, era of moral reversal. Yeah, tattoos, piercings, marijuana, gay marriage, homosexuality, oh yeah, it's good. What's good? Being straight. Being a white person, blonde hair, oh, that's bad. So yeah, white girls, they feel guilty about being white. Caucasian race is a very beautiful race. Blonde hair, red hair, blue eyes, green eyes, white skin. It's very beautiful because it's so rare and unique. But good is bad. So yeah, white girls, they're like this, okay? I'm white. I feel guilty. White is bad. So I gotta get rid of my whiteness. So I'm gonna marry ethnic man, like black man, Asian man, mixed man, Hispanic man, Middle Eastern man. Yeah, I'm gonna get rid of my whiteness. Ultra interracialism, okay? Yeah, good is bad, so they want to look like criminals. Because bad is good. Yeah, yeah, they tattoo pierce themselves. They want to be a badass. Because bad is good and good is bad. Okay, so. Tattoos, piercings, sugar fetism. Okay. Yeah, oh, oh you, 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 yeah, obesity, that's good. Yeah, I gotta be fat and have pot belly, that's awesome. So bad is good. Yeah, well, yeah, I get heart disease, diabetes by eating all these candies, cakes, ice creams, and sugar fat. I never eat vegetables. I never eat fruits. All I eat is ice cream, cakes, pies, pizza, cheese, oil, fat, sugar. Oh, bad is good. Obesity. Yeah, President Trump. Okay. Oh, plastic surgery. All my daughters. My ex-wives and wife. Yeah, the plastic surgery. Bad is good. That's President Trump. Okay. I'm badass, so I'm good. You are bad because you are too good. <laughs> At least be gay. Hello. Be like Anderson Cooper. Be like Rachel Meda. Be like Ellen DeGeneres. Degenerate, whatever. Ellen Degenerate, Degeneres. Yeah. Be like Lady Gaga, Katy Perry. 
Okay, yeah, be gay, be bad, because bad is good. Don't be straight, because good is bad. Okay, so it's like minus one is equal to plus one, okay? And now the universe collapses because every number becomes the same. You add plus one either side becomes zero is equal to two. You add plus one again. One equal to three. Okay? Add one again. Two is equal to four. Yeah. So minus what zero is equal to two and two is equal to four. Blah 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 blah. Okay, so universe collapses. Okay, so you introduce this one evil, one fallacy. You equalize zero is equal to one. You equalize zero to one. Yeah, it adds up. Pl plus one either in both sides. One is equal to two. Two is equal to three. Okay, this is something I learned in uh, this uh, philosophy class, logic class, elementary logic, when I was in undergrad. Okay, so it's something I learned. In the one and only philosophy class I ever take took yeah elementary logic okay so you introduce this one false equation it has this domino effect okay so that's the error by committed by president obama and justice kennedy okay yeah it's one simple wrong Gay marriage is a good thing. Now it has, that's the opening of this Pandora's box. Pandora box. Pandora's box. From then on, yeah, the, it has this cascading domino effect. You once legalize gay marriage, then you, next step, you legalize marijuana. Next step, you legalize illegal immigration and on and on and on it has this domino effect okay i mean opium <laughs> now it's in legalized the prescription drug opioid <sighs> okay that's why i'm running for present because i need to i have this moral sense of duty to put a stop on this, this downward spiral that America is going right now. Okay, so. Do you want to live in a world where, where everybody is gay, lesbian, and everybody is obese, tattooed, and pierced? Would you like to see that? Would you like to see your kids, grandkids, being obese, fat, covered by tattoos and piercings, and being gay or lesbians, transgender, plastic surgery, would you like to see that? Then vote for President Trump, okay, because he cannot stop it. He is not capable of stopping that trend. If you don't want to see that, then vote for me come 2020 in November, okay, because I can take, I can put a stop on all that. I'm younger than President Trump, okay? I'm not, I'm 40 years old. I'm not that young, but I'm young enough to put a stop on all this nonsense, okay? All right, we are, do, we are doing this step function of happiness, okay? So... Moral reversal is like this, okay? I mean, in tensor calculus, okay, that I studied briefly, I didn't go that far, but briefly, okay? It's about this generalization of coordinate system, okay? So, human analogy, we adopt that concept. 
For example, we talked about this, okay? Uh, discipline, okay? Discipline. And happiness or pleasure, okay? Juxtaposition of two different one-dimensional coordinates. If you are highly disciplined, discipline level is very high, you have pleasure here and you have pain here, you have uh, zero, okay? Zero, zero. If you have positive discipline, it means you have negative pleasure, which is pain, okay? Now, if you have plus one pleasure, it means negative discipline. You're kind of spoiled. So it's like discipline and spoiled, okay? They are both one-dimensional coordinate and they go into opposite direction. So it's a juxtaposition side by side of two different ideological coordinates. Okay. Discipline coordinate and pleasure coordinate. It, it, they are anti-parallel. If you are very well disciplined, it means you can handle the pain, which is negative pleasure. Okay, pain is equal to negative pleasure. Discipline is equal to negative this spoiledness. Spoilation, okay? Yeah, the more you are disciplined, the more pain you can handle. Okay, that's what discipline is. No pain, no gain kind of thing, okay? Now, moral reversal, the age, the era, the time of moral reversal, okay? That's America in 2019 on the President Trump administration. Oh, tattoos, piercings. President Trump, he takes picture with this pierced, tattooed guys. He takes picture with this flamboyant gay guys in his over office in White House. Yeah, that's President Trump. He's a populist. He would he go with whatever mainstream it is. So he became a politician. He obey the mainstream majoritarian views. At least in Republican Party, okay. So that was a big disappointment. He's doing something right, okay? Yeah, he tried to build the walls, yeah. Yeah, vetting process of immigration. He's doing something right, but in terms of bringing back this outsourced business, that's wrong, okay? You, you should not control capitalism. President Trump, what he's doing is Oh yeah, we gotta create jobs in manufacturing jobs. Bring back all the manufacturing jobs to America. That's a very, very stupid idea. Okay, because you should not control capitalism. So he's wrong on that account. But he's doing something right, you know, trying to build a southern border wall, but he's not capable of building it. I am. Okay, I'm capable of building the southern border wall because we're going to privatize it, okay? Inject some new ideas there. We talked enough about this in our past episodes, so we'll stop there. Okay, so moral reversal, okay? So, okay. Tattoo pierces, okay? They see this, okay, so this is a tattoo pierces coordinate. Okay. Tattoo piercist. Okay. And this is a traditional aesthetics coordinate. So here there's zero. Okay. So what is ugly in terms of this traditional aesthetics? Okay. Unclean, dirty. That look like a dead body, like cadaver, like kind of gray and dark. Yeah, 
something very ugly in terms of this traditional aesthetics. What we used to con used to perceive as something beauty, pure, clean, innocent. Okay, but in the eyes of these tattoo pierces, oh no, no, you gotta be dirty, tattoo pierced. Oh yeah, tattoo pierced. The more you are tattooed, the more you are pierced. Piercings. Piercings. Oh, they're down there. Like, ah. Tattooed. Oh, oh, oh. It was a here, 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 here. It's like tattoos, man. It's spreading disease. Satan. Devil. It was right here. Tattoo, then it starts spread like the, this deadly disease, and you the tattoo like comes up to neck, and now it's covering your face. Tattoos, piercings. One here, then here, then here, uh, uh, then here, 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 then here, piercings here, and then down there, and my goodness. Tattoo pierces. Okay, so yeah, but in in terms of traditional concept concept of beauty, oh, that's unclean, dirty. Yeah, but it, we are living in this age of moral reversal. So what's beautiful is ugly. What's ugly is beautiful. Obesity, tattoo piercing, marijuana, gay marriage. Once regarded as something abominable and ugly, now it's praised. It's like worshipped. Bow down to, okay? That's the era, day and age that we are living in. Okay? It was like that under President Obama and it is still like that in under President Trump. President Trump cannot save you from this. Okay. I'm the guy who can save you from this. Alright. President Trump, yeah, many of you Christ, dumb fucking Christians and dumb fucking Republicans, you think well President Trump is your savior. You're wrong. Okay. You know, Republicans, Christians, they're dumb fucking idiots. Just like fucking Democrats. Just like dumb fucking American liberals. Re conservatives, liberals, you know, they're all same stupid idiots, imbeciles, morons. <sighs> Americans. <sighs> you Americans. Americans, I've seen many smart Americans, okay, and at the same time, I've seen very stupid Americans, okay, so If you are gonna vote for President Trump or some dumb fucking liberal Democrat idiot And not me Just because of what? I'm some paper pusher in Alaska Because I'm not famous I'm not powerful, I'm not rich. You rather vote for this dumb fucking idiot democratic bullshit or stupid President Trump. Just because they are what? Rich, powerful and famous. And you don't vote for me just because what? I'm underdog, small guy like you. You rather vote for him or her, who's more powerful, m more famous, and more wealthy than you, you rather vote for them. I'm like you. I have no fame, money, power. No. 
So who, it's your choice, okay? You're gonna vote for me, or who is m very much like you, or you're gonna vote for this bird trapped in this golden cage, President Trump, or this Democratic fucking presidential candidate. Yeah, they cannot go outside of this golden cage of all this party agenda these rules they don't have any freedom they follow the rules party rules conservative or liberal whatever okay I'm not like them okay I'm a free spirit just like you are okay so you're gonna vote for them or me it's up to you I leave that up to you okay so okay so moral reversal we're gonna take a break very shortly okay so Okay, yeah, it's ugly, okay? A lot of tattoos in the traditional aesthetics, okay? I, I spell out. Traditional aesthetics. Okay? Yeah. Clean, pure, like a baby, that's what's beautiful, okay? But in this day and age of this tattoo piercism, oh yeah, you have clean skin? Oh, that's not good, yeah. Tattoo, pierce. In the traditional aesthetics, that's very ugly, okay? But in, the, in this day and age of moral reversal, aesthetical reversal what's ugly is good so yeah the tattoo one tattoo okay be you know i'm used to this one tattoo on my shoulder i get jaded so i want to get more tattoo one more tattoo yeah i'm happy because i got more tattoo Okay. Now I'm bored, okay? Yeah, I get one more tattoo, okay? It's an addiction. Okay? You end up trying to tattoo your eyeballs. And you, you lose your eyesight. You start to tattoo your face, neck, everywhere. Yeah, it's tattoo pandemic. It's a disease. Okay, so why you are you doing it? Why you are doing it? I know because you are possessed by Satan. Devil possessed you. That's why you are doing it. You are making yourself ugly, look like you are trying to make yourself look like a cadaver, dead person gray this tattoo this thing you want to monsterize yourself you want to look uglier monstrous like criminals gangsters why because you are possessed by satan devil he is controlling you to destroy yourself yeah, gayism, LGBT, it gets worse and worse. Alphabet, gay alphabet soup, AIDS, STD, herpes, the promiscuous and oh, just obesity, sugar tat, sugar pier, not sugar tattoo, sugar pierce, sugar fatism. Yeah, you eat all you want, sugar fat, you get obese, you're weak. You get sick, your body is inefficient, you get injured very easily because you're just too heavy, okay? Your bones, knee, ankle, backbone, it cannot sustain your weight because you're too heavy. You eat sugar and fat again and again. You never exercise, you never diet. You get sick, you get ugly, You're possessed by this devil of sugar fetishism. 
I'm here to save you. Yeah, you know, I'm gonna take a picture of this because uh, I like this combination of these colors, brown and red. It kind of matches very well, okay? So I'm gonna take a picture of this and we'll take a break, okay? Brown and red, that's one combination that I haven't quite tried yet, so. Come Monday, yeah, I will dress up in brown and red because it's, it matches very well. Because brown is, if you mix red and black, it becomes brown. Okay, so yeah, I know because I'm very well versed and educated in fine arts. Okay, so yeah, all this painting, yeah, mixing colors, I know all about it. Okay. Yeah, come Monday, it will be brown and red. Okay, so it mixes very well. Good match, good combination. Okay, let's take a break, okay? All right. Okay. <clears throat> let's take a break. Uh, how much time do we have? We have 30 minutes. All right. Good enough.
Okay, we're back. Um, I'm old school. Okay, I'm old timer. I'm kind of old. So, is Jack in the Box still in business? Let me look it up. I hope they are because I love their hamburgers. In Alaska, we don't have Jack in the Box. Okay, uh, we have McDonald's, Burger King, Arby's, Subway sandwiches, but we don't have Jack in the Box. Okay, so uh, let's Jack in the Box. Is this? Are they still in business? I hope they are. <clears throat> I guess they are still in business. Yeah, okay. Check in the box, okay, so. I mean, they have some, this industrial accident, incident. They kind of made them notorious. Check in the box, okay. Actually, it was in, featured in um, Twilight Zone episode. What is check in the box? Check in the box, okay, you have, you have this box, right? You open it. And there's this spring, and there's this guy with this, what, conic section, co this cone, hat, the birthday hat, and this, this Jack in the Box. Surprise! Okay, you open this box, Jack in the Box spring up, and hello, surprise, happy birthday, whatever, okay. Jack in the Box, okay. In Twilight Zone series, yeah. There's one episode about Jack in the Box, okay? It's, uh, I challenge you to find that episode because I know what it is, okay? So, fantastic episode. So, the re one, one commercial in Jack in the Box, this hamburger joint franchise. One episode I remember from this commercial is like uh, Jack in the Box, this Jack uh, he had his son and young son in elementary school and he mistook these two words vegetarian veter and veterinarian okay he said I wanna be a vegetarian and Jack in the Box this guy oh my goodness you wanna be a vegetarian, but I said hamburger, man. So she was like this, and then, yeah, I'm gonna care about animals. I wanna be a vegetarian, and then this Jack in the Box, this father of this son, realized, oh yeah, is he meant veterinarian? Okay, so yeah, that's what this Ivan Pavlos Pavlov was. Okay. Veterinary medicine, okay, so that's that. <sighs> okay. Yeah. So yeah, your tattoo you okay, you start here, then you start to spread your arm and start to go up neck face you were covered by tattoos because yeah one tattoo yeah it was fun but you get used to it so you are more tattoos more tattoos more tattoos is addiction okay tattoo pandemic metaphysical pathogen metaphysical disease okay Okay. <sighs> sugar fetism is like this, okay? <sighs> to understand sugar fetism, you have to understand uh, this copium account. Copium accountology, okay? So, check in the box. Check in the box. Uh. <laughs> I 
I challenge you to find that episode in Twilight Zone series made in 1960s, 50s. <sighs> Sugar fetishism to understand that uh, you need to understand this uh, copium account theory. Okay, so <clears throat> this is your beauty, beauty being, beauty. Okay, and this is your pleasure being. Okay. Yeah, if you sh eat cakes, pies, pizza, cheese, oil, fat, sugar, oh yeah, you experience this pleasure. But your beauty suffers, it go down. Okay? Also your health, health go down. You never eat vegetables, you never eat fruits, you never eat this whole grain, this what nine grain wheat, bread, you don't exercise. All you do is, oh yeah, I'm gonna eat sugar and fat. So your pleasure level is high, but your beauty level, beauty, aesthetical level go down. You have pot belly, you, all this fatty tissue, you get obese, so you are ugly and you are unhealthy, okay? Because you are stealing from this copium accounts of beauty and health in order to increase your pleasure level. And it's not just you, okay? Because you are living in a society. In a society, everybody is connected. You have health insurance. Okay, you are enjoying this pleasure of eating sugar and fat, all these candies, pizza, cheese, fried, whatever. Okay, ice cream, cakes, pies. Because happiness is copium; it's a limited resource. Okay. If you are enjoying something, it comes from other people. Happiness is a finite entity. Happiness is a copium. It obeys the law of co copium conservation, just like law of th first law of thermodynamics. Energy mass, it cannot be created or destroyed. It has to come from somewhere else. Okay? You eat all this sugar and fat. You enjoy this happiness of eating. So your pleasure level go up, but your beauty, aesthetic level goes down. Your health level go down. Okay? Something go up, the other things go down. Okay, so let's say your beauty go down minus three, okay? Your health go down minus two, okay? Your pleasure level go down go up plus five. So minus two, minus three, plus five is equal to zero. That's the law of copium conservation. Okay. Your happiness come from somewhere else. Maybe I smoke, I drink. So the pleasure of smoking cigarettes come from my lung at the expense of my lung. The pleasure of uh, drinking vodka, alcohol, yeah, it come as at the expense of my liver, liver, okay? But, I'm healthy, 100% healthy, okay? Why? Because 
I diet and I exercise. I run, weightlifting, martial arts, dancing. Okay. I dance at least once a week. I do martial arts at least once a week. For five, typically during the weekends, okay? I do dance and martial arts during the weekends. During the weekdays, I run like five times a day, five times a week, Monday to Friday. I do weight training, lifting weights, push-ups and sit-ups, calisthenics, pull-ups, okay? Five days a week. Okay? So yeah, it's sustainable, okay? But sugar and fat, you eat all you want, candies, <coughs> cakes, fried, whatever, okay? You get obese, diabetes, heart attacks, brain aneurysm, whatever. You get obese, you get ugly, you are dirty, you start to smell, you get fat, to, you cannot wash yourself very well, you get unhealthy, so it drives up this health insurance premium, medical cost. If you get sick, your body is inefficient, there's this positive feedback, feedback loop, yeah, you're heavy, so you cannot move very well. So you get even heavier because you're inactive. You're not, you cannot move very well because you're too heavy. Okay. So you're unhappy because you're ugly. You're unhealthy. You constant problem of pain, ugliness. So you eat more sugar and fat. It's a positive feedback loop. You get heavier and heavier. It starts to accelerate. You cannot move very well. You are inactive. You are ugly. You are unhealthy. All this pain. So what do you do? Yeah, more sugar, more fat. To compensate for all that pain and suffering. It's a, this downward, downward spiral that America is taking right now. President Trump, okay, he's fat, obese man, all right, so he cannot stop it. Because he himself, he never exercises. He thinks, he said, exercise is waste of time and energy. That's what he said, okay. Something like that. So, how much time do we have? Nine minutes, okay. Okay, we put these obese people on the hot seat, so let's change the subject. Let's say you are gay, okay? Yeah, you wanted equal rights, and you got it, okay? So, yeah, you are on. You used to be discriminated, okay? So then you, let's say this minus one, then you gain this equal right, zero, okay? you get bored, you want more, now you want superior right, plus one, okay? Yeah, gays, lesbians, transgender, they get away with all the crimes that they commit just because they are gay. They get superior rights, okay? Yeah, they will never stop. They're addicted to this acceleration of rights. Acceleration of rights. They want more rights. More rights. More rights. Yeah, LGBT. Addiction to rights. Superior rights. More and more rights. And yeah. You commit crime, if you are gay, you walk free. Okay? This was happening in America right now. And President Trump, 
can I stop it? I can. So I'm asking you to vote for me come 2010 in November. Okay. Probably my name won't be on the ballot and I like it that way. And just because so that you can just write down my name over President Trump's name and stupid Democratic candidate's name. Step on them, their stupid fucking names. Trample on them, write down my name over their stupid fucking names. Okay, so. Alright, uh, we continue on this tomorrow, okay? Because tomorrow is Saturday. Okay, so. Happy Friday. God bless you. Thank you. Bye.